Hey guys, before we get started here, just want to say this video is not sponsored by GAR. It does not share the official thoughts of GAR in any way, shape, or form. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, we have a special guest here, uh, Justin Vix. So Justin, you can go ahead and say hi. What up? All right, so uh, a couple days ago I asked you guys to post some questions you want us to talk about in uh, the question channel on the Discord. So we'll go ahead and just roll off into it. Our first question, Justin, is the, <laughs> the most common question I keep seeing. Is CG ever getting shields? <laughs> um... I cannot confirm or deny that. I am not authorized to answer that question. Yeah, so uh, obviously I know nothing about development. I'm just making pure assumptions here. I, I would say that they have a lot more stuff to work on before Shields, but I would say that's definitely on the table for down the road. That's just my assumption. All right, next question from Bolo Clips. Will Divisions get a more powerful blaster? The one we have now doesn't feel strong enough. What do you say about that, Justin? Do you think all Divisions oh. should be walking around with OP blasters? Well, once again, I'm not allowed to comment on anything development related because half the time, like, I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm really not up to date with what's going on development wide. That's entirely up to Kirk and Viking. I'm only in charge of community management. Yeah, and uh, I would say Bolo, just, uh, just speculating, I would say that's probably never going to happen because uh, you got to know that a lot of people pay good money to raid the game. So if everybody started walking around with OP blasters, I would feel like if I bought a two thousand dollar or two thousand Robux game pass, I'd feel like. That would be wasted if everybody had OP blasters, you know. Two thousand dollars offers a killer would just totally spend your two thousand killers on the OP blaster. <laughs> I would, bro. I'd, I'd go to the bank, make a withdrawal, come back, send it to Viking in the mail somewhere in the Netherlands or something. All right. Um. Next question. This question got repeated like four times. Is uh when is OA opening, Justin? Uh, currently there are no plans to open OA immediately until the next month. Due to about 19 to 20 people ranked as 01, mm -hmm. last I checked. Until we clear that out and get more people spread out across the ranks, we have no plans to open away at the moment. Yeah, so there's uh, no real schedule uh, jitter and all the other people that ask this. It's just really when uh, we just play, they played by ear. So, like, if we lose a couple officers due to demotions or they retire, then OA be more probable to open up. So that answers that question. All right, Justin, what is your general opinion about the new group called the Roman Empire? The Holy Roman Empire, he means. Well, it's a, it's a new genre to explore. I've always been into a, a bit of the historical stuff, and it's it's pretty interesting for me because I I like I've done a bit of studying up on Rome and stuff, and it intrigues me. That's all I'm gonna say. It intrigues me, and mm -hmm. I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah, definitely. I I feel the same way. I've been uh, I loved uh. Medieval colonial groups back in the day; those were my first couple of groups. The old, uh, the old Roman group. So when I first got on to make the video with Undead the other day, it was the first time I played that game for real. And I just I remember I got reminded of all the like the nostalgia of the Roman group with crafting your tools, armor, uh, armor. Now, obviously, right now it's in development, so there's a lot of bugs, but it gets worked on every day. So I would just I would be uh, hyped for the relaunch essentially. All right, it's gonna be fun. It definitely will be. Uh, will CG ever get a K9 unit? Sub question, Sergeant no. Hound. When? <laughs> no. No, I can ask them so confident it's never happening. What would be the point of a K9 unit in Coruscant, man? Obviously. What would you guys go and do? Go to the apartments and sniff for drugs? And there's, there's no <laughs> point. There's no point for a K9 unit. All it would do is just slow down the game. I'm, I'm stuck in the water apparently because I can't jump out. Well then. Uh, I'm just gonna leave this magenta complete Oh, he got out before me. What the heck? I have no idea why he's guarding you. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, I've seen their guide and everything. There's nowhere that says they should be guiding any non 187. Because you're here. Yeah. Oh, uh, all right. What well, inspired you? For free event points. Oh yeah, they're begging for that uh, that power. Yeah. Sir, I killed you three months ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you ask that question. You're watching this video. I'm not making fun of you. Just that's hilarious. All right, um, awesome man. Zero seven two four asks, "What inspired you to leave RI and join the one eighty seventh as an EXO?" 
Um, I spent about four and a half months in RI. Uh, it was a really fun division. It's probably my best time in Roblox. It was a brand new thing. I never did intelligence before. Uh, around five months, though, I kind of got, I won't say bored of it, but it's, it's kind of worn me out. You do anything the same day over and over again, you uh, eventually get bored of it. So when I saw a new division coming out, I saw it was a chance to uh, explore another side of GAR, besides always saying classified for five months. So that's, wh that's why I left it. Now I'm having a great time in the 187th. And next question from Gammy, uh, how would the Senate work? Uh, Justin, you got anything on that? No, because at the moment, like we answered in the other Q&A on Friday, we do not intend to release Senate for any time soon because it's not currently anywhere close on our roadmap. It's been pushed back because there's other things that are taking priority right now. Mm -hmm. So right now we haven't worked that out. When we do get closer to the release for Senate, we'll probably release about how it's going to work. I got my own question. Do you think HRE is going to be fixed before the Senate comes out? Oh, God knows that. Only God knows that. <laughs> uh, okay, I got like two more questions. When is OA opening up? Nope. Uh, do you hate troopers and cadets, Justin? No. Do you despise them with a passion? No. No? No. I, I... If I hated troopers and cadets, then I wouldn't have officers. Because officers were at some point troopers and cadets. Uh, I'll say I started off as a lieutenant. I was never a cadet or a trooper in my life. That, that, that so, don't make sense. <laughs> that don't make sense. I came into Garves free ranked. So that's what happened there. Guys, he, he bought PowerPoints. He bought PowerPoints. Yeah, I pulled a TSC and bought Captain. <laughs> yeah. But no, no one seriously hates uh, cadets and troopers. People make jokes about it all the time because they're new. But ju as Justin said, everybody starts out of them. So there's nothing really wrong yeah. with them. All right. Hold on. Just that some of them start stalking me in game. That's annoying. You're high con, bro. Yeah, but I know. Alright, uh, does Gar use free models for their morphs, Justin? No. Yeah. The morphs, as far as I'm aware, is developed by, uh, what's his name? Okay, I forgot his name. Uh, Tactical Sim. But, yeah, Tactical Sim. As far as I'm aware, uh, Tactical Sim is the person who supplies us with the morphs. Yeah, and I, I've seen Tactical Simp uh, Crims Logic since you asked this question. I've seen uh, Tactical build them in live, uh, live stream, so I can tell you firsthand they're not live stream. Uh, they're not free models. All right, next question. Are you going to focus more on Gar or Roman Empire from now on? Um, if the Roman Empire was like uh, completely fixed, had no bugs, I would definitely be focusing on the Roman Empire. I just love that time uh, history a lot more compared to Star Wars, and I find it a lot more in death. I mean, already with the bugs that it has right now, I think it's much more in depth for a normal player than Gar at the moment. I know Gar is getting updates soon, but all right. Next question from Daddy Logic. I just felt sick saying that. Who makes the gun and the sable uh, the saber models for Gar? Uh, can you repeat the question. Yeah, who makes the gun and the saber models for Gar? Okay, so guns, as far as I'm aware, is uh, Kurka. Mm -hmm. or he might be modifying a system that is used by other Star Wars groups. I am not exactly sure on how that works. Uh, sabers, I have entirely no idea. Okay. Uh, what is the easiest way for a raider to become KOS? Asking for a friend. <laughs> and asking for a friend, I see. Yeah. Um, piss off the Re Republic intelligence. Yeah, piss off a RI or start shooting people at SSEs. That probably yeah. work too. A uh, possible Red Guard video at Officer Killer? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Red Guard patrols are, I won't say the funnest because no one can talk or anything, so <laughs> I would just be following them around commentating, which isn't the funnest. Stalker. <laughs> All right, uh, next question is, why was I banned from the Guard Discord for saying no? Uh, well, obviously, uh, we would need a lot more context for that. Uh, but if you want to get yeah. unbanned, uh, you can head over to Guard Systems. They do all the uh, ban appeals. All right. Uh, most likely a bot mistake. If you are still banned, oh, I'm sorry. He was answering his own question. All right. That's uh that's all the guard related questions we have. The rest were uh, video questions. Some skip those. And uh, uh, now, and now we can see the. Uh, so Justin, uh, do you uh can you say anything about development? No. Okay. Um. Do you think uh? So with the city updates coming on, I'm going to ask very vague questions. Uh, is the bank ever going to be like a thing? I like right now I have not been just told anything about the city updates. Mm -hmm. It's still very much uh, like 
it's uh, it's like it's still in the planning phase between Kirk and Viking. Yeah. So it's none of it has been really re revealed to me yet. And uh, and priority wise, because uh, uh, we all know that Viking Dev and his whole team is split up in like three different groups right now. Uh, priority wise, is Gar on top of the list, or should we expect some delay? At the moment, Gar is at the top of the priority list. Okay. Uh, because we did announce that May will be the month for updates in Gar. Mm -hmm. So at this time, Gar is at the top of the priority list. Gotcha. So what next month could that change? Uh, depends. I I think they had some updates planned, and once those are released, then the priority changes. I still have no idea why these fucking magenta dudes are following. <laughs> I'm, I'm just making them go around in circles and they're just following me. <laughs> right in laps. Okay, let's see here. I feel like I missed a question. Oh, yeah. Undead Metali asks, why do you hate him? I don't hate him. Do you think he's the best agent in uh, RI? I'm not allowed to answer that. Undead, I think you're the best agent in RI. I think you're the absolute best. Sir. The best agent in RI is Tactical Freedom and UAV is offline. Yeah, that's true. When they leave, when they leave undead, you can be the best. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, we're getting shot. I'm, I'm just following my method of uh, taking laps and I'm not getting shot. Doing it at me. So Justin, have you been in a GAR since it was purchased by Viking? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you said you guys met back in what, 2015-ish? It's 2020 now, so yeah, 2015-ish, yeah. You know what? Nice. Uh, how did that like? How did that whole thing go? When did you guys decide you got like this is the golden trio? Like this is what we're working with every group. How did like? Did you guys just have a talk a talk one day, or did you did you just like slowly evolve into that? It slowly evolved into that, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So back in twenty fourteen or fifteen, whenever I first met Viking, we were in this United uh, Kingdom nineteen forties group. Yeah. Uh, so back then I was just starting out with uh, like these type of groups in general, pro nations and whatnot. So that was the first group that I held a high ranking position in. And that's somehow how Armandas noticed me. Mm -hmm. uh, but soon after I joined, uh, UK 1940s was sold off to somebody. And uh, we all moved on to Vikings new project. Uh, back then, Viking used to uh, run the Zaleo family, and I joined up okay. because which kid doesn't want to be the part of a family for some famous guy, right? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I joined up the Zaleo family, and uh, that time was when Viking was taking people from his family to uh, take up staff positions in his new project. Uh, that was the first version of the Soviet Union. Okay. Obviously, I was three months late to signing up for Soviet Union, so I had to start from scratch. Mm. Uh, so I started out in, K in Soviet Union as a KGB agent. Oh shit! Yeah. And from there, I uh, like Armand just told us even at the Q and A. But from the um, from from starting out from scratch, I needed to like uh, every high ranking position there is, and I got fired from every one of them <laughs> by Armand. Really, and you just so, bounced back. Yeah, I just kept coming back. So <laughs> I was first fired from KGB chairman. Uh huh. So after that, I went to the army. I was fired from army major general. And yeah. Said, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm killing army right now. Army major general, I was fired. Then when I was fired from army, I went for red guard. Mm -hmm. Red guard commanding officer fired. Uh, then after that, I got into politics. Politics uh, head of central committee fired. Jesus. And after that, the only the only thing that was left was now court. Uh, so I was, uh, what's it called? Military Collegium in court, which basically looks after the, uh, what's it, the cases regarding army and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I got fired from there as well, doing a case, you know, in a very public court case. So I heard, I heard Amundus referenced that some court being dissolved. Was that that court? Yeah, it was that court. <laughs> they dissolved it after my case. Wow. Like, no more. Because I was uh, I was dragged to court three times by three different people. Really? That that's how much of a drama between Tyrant I was. Damn. And Armandus hated me with a passion. And so, so uh, did Armandus eventually just keep bringing you back because you what was it? You just kept showing back up. Uh, I kept showing back up of my own accord. Armandus really didn't like me. 
Yeah, so you just wanted to keep playing no matter what, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. And, uh, fuck, what, what was I about to ask? Um, oh, wait, ooh, wuzzles here? I'm TPing a ooh, ooh, wuzzle. So, uh, Justin, have you ever thought about joining the ooh, ooh family? Ooh, ooh, Justin? Oh, that was my other question. So, the family you mentioned before, was that the family Amundus mentioned in QA, uh, Q&A that he's kind of ashamed of now? Uh, no. That was a different family. That okay. Was, that was Armandus before he met Viking. Mm hmm So that's way before. Oh, uh, okay. And how did, uh, do you know how Armandus and Viking met? Um, well, he also answered this question in Q&A. So I guess a couple of months before I showed up, mm -hmm. uh, the UK 1940s, the way in which Armandus and Viking were, was owned by someone else. They did not like how the group was being managed. So they made their own UK 1940s and, uh, Took over the scene. Oh shit. Hold on, someone's using the force on me. Love force. Oh, I died. If you let me do laps, do laps, they can use the force on you if you do laps. <laughs> TV. So. Nothing. We're just doing a QA video. Welcome to the Yeah, welcome welcome to the video, bro. I'm gonna use you as clickbait, is that alright? Okay. I'm gonna pull a like you a big a, 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 Yeah, I'm gonna pull a big red arrow next yeah. to your character. UAV quits guard? Question mark, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have to show the statue. But yeah, anyways, uh, we, were, we were just uh, doing some questions, and some of the questions were about RI for my uh, Discord. So I'm going to add... I'm yeah, gonna... um, uh, like, uh, officer leaked everything about RI. Yeah, I leaked it all. I leaked uh, yeah. everything about it. Black uh, black yeah, man buzz. Yo, chillax, bro. Chill, chill. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so some of the one of my questions was: uh, Is all right going to be all right without tactical in, in uh, UAV? Oh, what do you what, What's your opinion on that? Um. So I'm preparing crimson and drip uh, the best I can to uh, continue the trends that I already started. Mm -hmm. Um. It's not going to be some easy shoes to fit, like not egotistically speaking, but like. It's gonna be difficult for sure because um, I climbed up here slowly, so that means that I got my power one at a time. But they're gonna get most of their stuff just instantaneously, so it might be overwhelming. But like RI might be a little different because um, new leadership obviously means new philosophies. So th it definitely will change, but I feel like there will be some retaining factors that come from my term. That goes into Crimson's term as RA director. Okay, so uh, short, uh, long story short, Crimson's gonna go on a power hungry trip. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, I'm C two now. Word. <laughs> no, he doesn't get that. No, he does. Yeah, Did you hear Amundus? He yeah, Amundus is giving him C two when you uh, guys leave next month. Damn, he really giving him everything, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's completely calling your shoes. Yeah, bro. Okay. But yeah, all right. I think I'm going to end up the video. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, UAV and Justin, if you want to say bye. Bye. Uh, peace.